Doodle Bud here, you know, when I have all this gear out, something good is about to happen. Now, I'm going to shake this. It's full of ink. This might be terrible. The world is starting to open up again. Restrictions are clawing back. We're getting rid of masks slowly. We're going to start getting on airplanes. And I did a whole video series. I made this uh, airplane in a bottle. Here, I'm going to try this uh, clip-on fisheye lens. That's a little better. But I made this little homegrown vacuum chamber so I could simulate flying on an airplane right in the comfort of my desk. And we solved how do you store your pen when you go on an airplane, what type of ink, what filler system is best. And I did an extensive video on that to tell you exactly how you can do it and how you can do it right with any pen regardless of filling system. But I missed something. If you're going to take a pen with you on a plane and you're not doing cartridges, you're going to do a piston, convert, or whatever pen you bring... You need to bring some ink. So you pick out the ink that you want to bring for whatever reason you if you figure out. And you put the lid on tight and you're just praying this isn't going to leak. You even put it in a plastic bag or a container. And even if it, you know, leaks and stays in the bag or container, thankfully didn't spoil everything. But now you got one hell of a mess to clean up. And you don't need a whole bottle of ink if you're going away for, even if it's a week, you still don't need a whole bottle. So we got to figure out a better way to transport ink. So you might invest in a little inkwell from some manufacturer, and they're kind of expensive, hoping it works. But on the other side of this hand, I have the cheapest version possible. We're going to test it. What? It's one of these guys. You're probably going to need this for your trip anyways. You just pick this up at the old, uh, in here, Canada, we call them the Dollarama. You get the little travel town all bottle. Now, I did a video on this before, but it did so terrible. Nobody watched it, so I might as well do it again and test it. Got like 100 and, I don't know, 50 views, maybe. And that, that was like forever ago. But I theorize that this is a perfect little travel vial to hold your ink. It's got a nice seal on here. It's got this hook lock system, just like on Visconti. This is an injected, molded little bottle. And I thought, you know what? It's sealed. It holds a reasonable amount of ink. It's big enough to fit most pens. Let's try this thing out. So I'm just going to give it a quick wash. You can actually see the little town all dust particles in here. So let me wash it and let's fill it full of ink. For curiosity's sake, I thought let's fill it up. But while we're going to fill it, let's see how much it holds. So one, don't fill it. Don't do the noodlers thing. Don't hold it all the way up. Don't fill it all the way up. So the second you open it or put a pen in, the ink just comes out. I don't know why they do that. I'm like, dude, save the 10 cents worth of ink to give us a little space. The uh, number of pants and shirts or desktops or carpets that have been ruined because of that practice. Here we go. I'm going to fill it up. Let's see how much it holds. Okay, so here we go. We got 10 mils of ink in here. There's still some room in here. You can fit the pen. I, I think that's more than enough ink that you need for, you know, that two, three, four day trip that you're planning. All that's left to do... Pop the top off, put it in here, and start what we call the D-bag test. Now, this that stands for the Doodle Bud Atmosphere Gauge Test. We voted on the name, and D-bag was the winner. Okay, so it's in there. Now we just have to create the vacuum to simulate the pressure differential inside an airplane. So I'm going to pull this one pretty hard. Let's let's really give it a torture test here. Okay, so here we are. We're around, what, uh, 20 inches of mercury that we pulled. Again, this is not a perfect vacuum, but this is way more than you'd ever experience on an airplane. You would have some serious challenges. So it's in here. I don't see anything. We're going to roll it around. Nothing. Let me keep this tight now. I'm going to shake this. It's full of ink. This might be terrible. Back and going. I got a bit of a leak. So let's get up close here. You can see a little couple specks here. Now, I probably have to redo the test and not shake the hell out of it and make it more realistic cabin pressure than what uh, I'm doing. But for what I just did to it, that actually, uh, that's surprisingly good. Because I, I don't think anyone's going to ever do that with a bottle of, or a vial of ink like this. Here comes the moment of truth. Yeah, we got a little bit. Oh, boy. I, I got a little Kleenex underneath here. 
Ooh. Oh, that was fine. You know, what else are you going to expect after what I just did? So I guess I did this backwards. I did the torture test first versus the basic normal use case. So let me clean this out and then I'll do a regular usage case to see how it does. Got to tell you that cleaned up easier than I thought. I just, you know, I poured the ink back in the bottle, ran it under the faucet and uh, yeah, spick and span. Look at that. Okay. So it's filled back up here. Same ink is in there. Put the top on. It's just so nice and easy. Pop. And I'm uh, going to put it back in the chamber, regular kind of cabin pressure. I'll go a little bit harder and uh, I'm just not going to beat this thing up. I'll put it in there. I'll move it around a little more gentle and I'll turn it upside down and so this is more of a realistic uh, differential in pressure in the cabin somewhere around there. I'm going a little bit more, of course. Don't see anything yet, it's on its side. Let's just be a little more gentle. Okay, so that's a little more reasonable of what you could expect. I'm just gonna let this go for a few more minutes and then we'll check it out. That was, I don't know, maybe about 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I did a little cleanup around here, cleaned out the fillers and just some other stuff, put some pens away flushed a couple of them as I was doing it. I would come back and check on it. I'd do a rapid uh, depressurization, then back up again real quick. Did that a few times. And if you look at it, not a drop. Let's uh, pull it out of there. All right, there we go. Not a single drop in there let's check out this guy that was just the stainage from before oh, oh look at that there's a tiny is that fresh yep just a tiny wee little drop got out and you can see underneath the cap edge there so i mean it's pretty good i guess you would still probably put this in a ziploc but the nice thing i mean hard plastic You smash it, a little bit comes out. I mean, if I did that with the Visconti one, it's beautiful, but I'd probably break it and have ink everywhere. So I guess we're still putting stuff in plastic bags, but this, I mean, for two bucks that this costs you, I don't know a cheaper gig that would work this well for traveling with some ink and you don't get in trouble for, uh, you know, liquid volumes. If you're doing a carry on, this is only holding 10 mils, so they can't possibly freak at you. And if they want to open this thing to check it out and they get ink on themselves, well, that's, that's their fault. So there we go. That's it for today. Tell me uh, what you think down there in the comments. Let me know or what you use. Love to hear from you and you can share with everyone else as well. And as always, catch you next time.